Hi all, we're off on another trip in a couple of weeks and we wanted to tell you a little bit about our plans, right? That's right, uh, going to Portugal, Spain, Morocco, and France. Yep. Uh, not as long a trip as some of them, about seven weeks. Uh, and we uh, usually kind of think of our trips as a series of many trips, kind of divided up uh, by country or who we're traveling with or something along those lines. So we've got it. Uh, we've got four stages to the right. to the trip, and we're starting off flying to Lisbon uh, with uh, our friends Ray and Linda, uh, and then they'll be uh, with us for two weeks. We're doing a loop from Lisbon, going north, uh, rental car. Uh, we go pretty much straight north through Portugal into Spain, uh, and that's that northwest part of Spain we've been to a few times and we just love it. That's Galicia. Is that Galicia. Right? We've also been to one, you know, just once, but we've been to Portugal once, and uh, we're hitting a couple of places that we really liked mm -hmm. six years ago, I think it was, or six or seven. And uh, so, a lot of that uh, we're revisiting places. Not not all of it, but uh, so it's it make, which makes it easier to plan. I yep, mean, you yep. kind of know a little what you're getting into. Yep. So we go from up to the north, and then we kind of cut across the northeast corner of Portugal again, and back to Spain, and then south, and then straight west to uh, Lisbon to make the loop. Right, and then Ray and Linda fly home from Lisbon. Right. And that is what we're calling stage one. Stage one. Then uh, the two of us make our way to Madrid and meet up with uh, another couple, Roger and Gail. And we take the high speed train down to Sevilla, Seville. Uh, and then we rent a car and do a little bit of uh, southern Spain and end up Gibraltar. Yep. That would be stage two. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's a, a dairy we've been to a few times. A few times. We've been to Seville uh, this will be the fifth time. Yeah, we, we like it though. It's yeah, it's it's just one of those places it's good for a day or two because it's beautiful. Yeah, it's just beautiful and the food's good and just Nice atmosphere. Yeah. Yep. Then we uh, take a ferry across the Mediterranean, uh, leaving from uh, Spain and going to Spain. There's a little enclave uh, of Spain on the other side of the Mediterranean, surrounded by Morocco. And then we'll uh, spend a night there and then cross by land into Morocco. Uh, public transportation, uh, train down uh, a little south or south on the Atlantic coast. Yep. Then rent a car for three days, do a little bit on the coast, and, and uh, Marrakesh back to Casablanca, and then fly from Casablanca to Madrid, spend a. F so that's stage two three? That's, yes, that's stage, Morocco's a stage all by itself because we've never been there. It was not even on the radar, really, until uh, Roger suggested, right. well, we're so close. Why yeah. can't we just jump across the Mediterranean and see Morocco? And I've never been to Africa before, so. Well, New the, continent for me. Yeah. And it's been a long time since I've been in a uh, Arabic-speaking country. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, about November of 1976, I believe. Wow, okay. So, uh, I think that, you know, so I, I look forward to that part yeah, that of it, you know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I liked it before, I think I'll like it again, that that culture. Yeah. And then Roger and Gail fly home from Madrid. They leave us in Madrid. From Madrid. And then we, uh, so then we're at stage four. Yep. Yeah which is traveling from Madrid to Paris, 
I think it's probably 11, 12 days or something. Yep. Part of it by public transportation. I think it's, well, actually, I think it's bus, rental car, train, another train, and then rental car. Okay. And okay. Uh, yeah. that's the part. We've made reservations for all the hotels up to that fourth stage. Some of and those, so you're working on those. Now? You're working on those. There's some of the transportation I don't have for, you know, but a lot of that you can't do too far in advance. Too far in advance. A lot of the trains and stuff only sell tickets 30 days in advance okay. and stuff. So, Excellent. Um, but you know, France is. We've been there a couple times in our recent trips. So before that, we've hardly gone there, but. We enjoy that. Well, it should be fun. Yeah. Uh, I should say the only kind of headache or complication to this trip is all the different COVID restrictions. Oh, yeah, every country. Yeah, different. every country's different. It just uh, and they keep changing. I don't think it's going to be a problem at all in France or Spain. But uh, Morocco has to open up the land entry. They just today opened to air travel, but not the land border. So, but it's a month till we go. Yeah. So, and Portugal's got well. I think there's uh, 34 countries where it would not be a problem. But if the U.S. is not one of those countries, so we are considered the high risk un unvaccinated because we don't have a. Uh, Proof of vaccination. They don't, the CDC card means nothing to them. I mean, or to anyone really. Well, some places it might, but I mean, it doesn't have your photo. It doesn't have a barcode. It doesn't have a QR code. It, just a little white piece of paper that with the, some scribbles on it that anybody can. So we have to get tested every two days. You said you think this is what we think. Yeah, anyway. yeah. And, and, but what kind of a test? Or you know, it, it sounds like some of the hotels just give you like a, a home test when you walk in, and if you're negative, you're fine. Be so, interesting. Yeah. And if we can't go to Morocco for some reason, we'll change change the route on the fly, right? Yeah. Well, yes. I mean, I'd be a little disappointed, but I, there are other options. Yes. Yes. It's not like we oh we're just going to have to sit here one spot for. Yep. A while. No. Nope. All right. Anything else we want to? Well, cover. I don't think so. All Looking right. forward to it. Yeah. Should be great. Yep. So the. Next video will be probably in Portugal. See you then. Okay, before I wind up this video, there are just four quick things that I'd like to ask your help with. One, my purpose on this YouTube channel is to make videos that my friends and families want to watch of videos of our trips. And I don't just want to do, you know, travel pictures, which can really be boring. So I'm looking for feedback on what will make these videos more interesting and make them and make you want to watch them. Um, two, I'm looking for suggestions of things we should do and places we should visit on this trip. I know a lot of you have been to these places before and some of the best things we've done in the past have always have come from people's suggestions. So I'm really looking for suggestions. Three, if you're interested in the, de the detailed places we're going, I posted the itinerary on my blog at marianvermazen.com. And um, I, while we're traveling, I post an update there pretty much every day. So if you'd like to follow along, that's another way to do it. And fourth and finally, um, I would love to get to 100 subscribers on this YouTube channel because then I can get a custom channel name, something like, I don't know, Vermes and Vagabonds or something. And um, if so, if you could subscribe, it would help a lot and I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in Portugal.